Hey everyone, it's Nella here with a response to Bumblebee Love's uh, end of the year tag. I was waiting on my newest edition to arrive before I did this, and she's here, so here's the video. Um, I'm just going to actually change the focus a bit so you yeah. can actually see me. That should be better. And as usual, I apologize if the cats um, are appearing in this video. Um, both of them are here. And they're kind of... <laughs> hey! No! It's kind of crowded with all the dolls and me and the cats. Um, <laughs> okay. So... Number one is show us your doll family as it looks at the end of the year. Okay, this is going to be a lot um, because I did get a number of dolls. Okay. We have... I'm not sure if you can actually see this well. There you go. We have Heitsu, who's an 11 centimeter obitsu. She's little my, she is my little pocket doll. And she stays in my pocket when I'm at school. And next is my Bobobi Pixie, um, who I will talk about in this video a bit. Um, her name is Nagisa. And she doesn't have a face up, but she will be getting one in the spring or summer when it is warm enough and I can do that. Next is Benji, who, yes, is only a head right now, but, um, his body and sleeping head have been purchased and are being made right now by Doll Family H. Then we have my 60 centimeter girl. This is Han Li Xuan. She is, oops, I'll do now close up. Uh, she is a doll zone shrang -o. We have my newest addition. This is Lottie, and she is a cherished doll slim Pia. Then we have, I fix his hair. We have Vinian or Finn Finian, my Bobobi Pixie. Whoops, sorry. Bobobi Bow. Very different thing, Bobobi Bow and Pixie. Sorry, I was kind of staring at his ears, and I thought Pixie for a moment there. Um, next is, oops, I just need to fix her necklace. This is Mattia Rogers, or Mattia North, I'm not sure which one she'll end up sticking with. And she is a Myth Doll UA. We have Viviana, an island doll, Jessie. Ethel Donnell, um, who is a soul doll, Lily C. And last, but actually the first doll I ever saw, first BGD I ever saw in person. This is Alwyn Taylor, and she is a soul doll Tiffe girl. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, number two, tell us the best thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. Um, <laughs> well, this year was kind of like the year of the dolls for me. Um, I got a whole bunch of dolls, and I figured out a whole bunch of things about what I want to do. Um, I also actually had the time and materials necessary to do, um, my own face-ups for the first time, which I really, really enjoyed and want to do loads more of. Um, so I think the best thing that happened to me in the hobby was, yeah, was probably actually being able to do face-ups for the first time. Um. While I am completely an amateur at them, 
I love being creative and I love Okay, well, I've always loved doing sculpture and working with clay, so being able to paint a 3D medium is really, really nice for me. Um, well, being paint, being able to paint and do pastels. And unfortunately, one face of that I was most proud of, uh, Drew's face up, has been wiped because of the thing that is tied with the best thing that happened to me in the hobby which would be the fact that I decided to reshell two of my doll characters into other dolls, um, but to keep their original shells and make new characters. And the two whose characters have moved on but will be back um, were Drew, who was my Bobobi pixie girl on a Miro doll girl body, uh, who is now Nagisa, my uh, ice sprite, who has no face, and my first BGD, um, Blair, who is character is also going to be reshelled, but whose character will be back, um, who's who has now become Mattia, my fisherman's daughter. Um, so yeah, those were, I really can't pick which one was, which one was the better thing that happened to me in the hobby. Um, both of them were really freeing and are really important to me in the creative process that is such an essential part of this hobby. Okay, number three. Tell us the worst thing that happened to you in the doll ho hobby this year. Um, okay, not that much bad really happened to me in the hobby. Um, I mean, I had some minor mishaps with, um, my Bobby Pixie's, uh, little thing on the inside of her head cap broke off because, um, on the Miro doll body, the head is really... Well, the stringing is really bad on that body, um, and unfortunately I can't actually fix that because the stringing channels are so small, um, which meant that at a meet, um, unfortunately she got knocked to the ground, and she might have a little dent on her nose, I didn't really see one when I cleaned up her face up. But what did happen is, um, I'm not sure if you can see, probably not, but this, this bit at the top here is supposed to have a, kind of a hook shape to hook into the head cap. Well, that broke straight off. Um, and I don't actually have any super glue right now to fix that. However, I do have eye putty, which is how I've been keeping her head cap on. <laughs> um, so I have to say, I guess that would, well, that is one of the bad things that happened in the hobby. The other bad thing is that I managed to stain a little bit Finn's head. Um, it's extremely hard to see, um, but looking at I can see a little bit of it um, he has ever so slightly a blue tinge to one side of his face um, it is very slight I pretty much got all of it off but um, that has to do with the fact that I first attempted to get his default Bobobi face up off with non acetone nail polish remover which um, in, unfortunately the only kind I could find has a blue pigment and he is white skin, so, um, blue pigment plus white skin does not equal happy fun times. <laughs> it was looking fine until, um, I brought him out into natural light and I saw that, oh no, it had actually stained him. Um, I got out, almost all of it out with, uh, using rubbing alcohol, but, um, yeah, those were where we face up, so really, really on there. <laughs> um, 
um, speaking of face-ups, I didn't show the face-ups that I did that I still have. Um, so, Benji has one of my face-ups. Um, Finn has one of my face-ups. He actually went through a few face-ups this year. And, um, sorry about that, Alwyn knocked the, um, button that was recording. So Alwyn also has a face-up that I did. Um, so that's number three. Number four, the... Show us the your three favorite things you got this year. Okay, well, unless I've miscounted, I actually got precisely three complete BGDs this year. Um, so let's see. Okay, um... I'm going to specify complete because I did get some clothes. Okay. Number one, um, I got my dream doll. Oh, one of my dream dolls. And that is actually Ethel here. Um, I fell in love with the, um, Soul Doll Lily C sculpt when she came out. Um, I immediately immediately went, oh, you know, that's perfect for Ethel, um, and I loved her default face-up as well. My camera's horrible quality, so you can't see, but Soul Doll does beautiful, beautiful work on their face-ups, um, and she actually, yeah, still has her full default, um, and I was actually lucky enough that I found one, and after deliberating for a few months, I went ahead and bought her, and then found out that the seller was actually in the same city as me. So, yes, uh, Ethel here was one of the three best purchases I made this year. But I still have a cut on my hand. Um, Number two of the things that I got is Lu Shuang here. Um, she was a real surprise find. Um, I just went on the marketplace and I found a Dolls and Girl that I loved who was discontinued back in the summer. So by the time I had seen, I first saw her, she had already been discontinued. Um, and her price was shocking. Um, I mean, we're talking less than half of the price, of her regular price. Um, just because she is not in demand at all, there's nothing wrong with her. Um, and I'd say I, as much as I had just jumped ahead and got her, um, I was so worried that SD wasn't going to work out for me. The biggest I'd ever had was minis. Um, my friends always had SDs, but I never had them because I figured that, that size was just going to be too big for me. And I'm really happy I sucked it up and just tried it because I love her and I love her size. Um, and I'm really looking forward to... Benji having a body so that I have another SD. Um, she is just amazing. And number three. This is the reason why I had to wait until she arrived. This is Lottie and she arrived she arrived on Friday. Yes, Friday morning. Um, she is wonderful and adorable and she is the tiniest resin that I have. Um, I last year I ventured into um, USDs and to be honest I wasn't sure if that size was going to work for me. It turns out that yes I can go smaller than a mini. Um, but I kept saying, I was like, oh, but, you know, I'm like, but I can't go smaller than a yo. I, can, I can't go smaller than a yo. And I decided, you know what? How about I try going smaller than a yo? Let's see what happens. 
Well, what happens is this adorable little girl, da, 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 um, who is adorable and precious, um, I can't wait until I can give her um, a different face up and her eyes come in and her wig come in because she already has such spunk and personality that um, I, I'm just super excited to see her come together. So that's number four. And finally, number five. What is your New Year's resolution? Okay, New Year's resolution. Don't buy any dolls next year. Um, I suppose maybe, maybe at the very, very end of the year. Um, I know, maybe next year I'll be able to jump in for the Dreaming Doll event and um, be able to bring back Fleur and Drew because that would be really nice to do. Um, but as much as I love that it's been the year with the dolls, um, my wallet is not happy that it has been the year with the dolls. Um, I am in university and university is not cheap. <laughs> Um, and my job is not super high paying or heavy hours, so, um, yes. <laughs> so that, that is my New Year's resolution is, other than possibly getting, possibly bringing Flair and Drew back next year, is to not get any more dolls. No matter how wonderful the deals on the marketplace are. Maybe my news resolution should be don't go on to the marketplace unless you're selling. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, that should be my new year's resolution. That should really be it. Um, my wallet will thank me. Um, yeah, and actually, I do have a second new year's resolution. And that is to give all of my dolls um, that are waiting on a face up for me um, a face up. So that would be give Nagisa a face up. Give Benji a new face up because I think I can do a bit better than this now. Um, give Lottie a face up. Finn is good. Um, maybe give Alwyn a new face up and who knows? Maybe give Mattia a new face up because there are some chips in hers. Um, because wait a minute. Holy crap! Um, I just realized something. Uh Mattia here her physical shell, that is the Soldo UA, um, will have been with me for Holy crap, um, seven years this December, by which I mean like in a day she will have been here. Heck, maybe even today it might be her seventh birthday being here. Holy crap, I did not realize <laughs> that that just kind of hit me now. Whoa, I've been this hobby a while. Like, seriously, I, I've been this hobby since 2005, and I've been since 2006 with the BGD. The same BGD. Um, so even if it isn't the same character anymore, it is still the same physical BGD. And I even have the first BGD I ever saw back in... Back in... February 2006. Um, I say I got into the hobby in 2005 because that's when my sister showed me BGDs and I went, yes. Yes, it's awesome you're getting one. I want one too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, and with that, um, Happy New Year. Well, I should say, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, <coughs> Have a happy new year, everyone, and good tidings for the new year. Holy crap, I sound like a Hallmark card sometimes. Um, I'm just gonna go now. Goodbye.